we like to make sure everyone feels welcome in the DevNet zone. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the people who are working with Cisco DNA Center and the people who you would like to know that they can give it a try if they haven't already. Well, Cisco DNA Center is a great solution for anyone who has a large network that they manage and they'd like to cut back on the time to managing that network um, and maybe even the cost over time. So we, ha we get a lot of interest, especially on the programmability side, from larger customers who have a, lo a lot of APs, for example, a lot of clients on the network, um, people who want to automate a lot of processes. One of our biggest things that there's a lot of interest in is integrations with services like IP address management, so Infobox and Bluecat, to name a few, and IT service management, such as ServiceNow, um, because those are processes that can take a lot of time to resolve and we what we do is with those integrations it really speeds up the time to resolution of those kinds of issues and automating the change process. Now here in the DevNet zone we want people to get hands on so tell us about your demo. So my demo is kind of AP provisioning um, with Cisco DNA Center APIs and basically what we're doing is we are provisioning um, some APs and with the APIs and then we're pushing a ticket into ServiceNow to kind of show what the um, what changes have been made in ServiceNow, reflect those changes. So if people can't make it to the DevNet Zone in person, what content do we have that you would recommend for them to view online? So I'd really recommend a lot of our content that's on the DevNet site, so um, developer.cisco.com slash DNA Center, and they can play around with the DevNet sandbox, they can look at some of the um, things in the ecosystem exchange and the code exchange, and that's how they can kind of get a feel for Cisco DNA Center platform. If they want to, um, if they already have a Cisco DNA Center, they can go into the platform tab and look at the APIs and the documentation, which is also available on DevNet, but if they already have a Cisco DNA Center, they can try it out from the platform itself, right within the the product. The question of the week, especially now that we've heard about the new DevNet certifications, developer or engineer? Well, I'm truly a developer at heart um, because I come from a software background. I was a software engineer at Cisco before I became a TME. And so I would want to say developer, um, but I know I like engineer because I feel like it's more inclusive um, because it allows you to expand not just to people who write code every day as a developer, but to people who approach every problem with an engineering mindset. So maybe you have a marketing problem or a problem in HR or a problem in, I don't know, any aspect of your life and you want to think of it quantitatively and algorithmically, then you're an engineer. And maybe you become a developer by actually using code to solve that problem. That is great advice. Thank you so much for spending time with us. Thank you as well.